Well, we saw 43,310 job cuts, and that was up 17 percent uh, from last month. But we've now seen three consecutive months, first three months of the year, where the job cuts are down from what they were in the same month last year. So first quarter down 30 percent job cuts. The job market is hot with 4.7 percent unemployment. We're, we're, we're looking at, at a list uh, of the breakdown of those industries there. You're looking at telecommunications as the leader. Is that a particular company? Uh, no, uh, but we just saw some general move in telecom. Cuts still fairly light for the quarter for telecom generally, even though they were up this month at just under 10,000. It's, it's a shifting product mix, automation, the same sorts of things we're seeing in, in most high-tech industries. So I don't think that's anything remarkable there. And how does it look regionally? Uh, well, heaviest cuts uh, were in uh, Texas and Ohio in the month. Uh, 17,000 each in those two places. And the other thing you just referred to was, was, was robots and machines in terms of cost cutting. We were just talking to Larry, uh, uh, Larry Fink about robots, as you'd imagine, given uh, the headlines around what's going on at BlackRock. And then we talked about uh, the comments uh, that Stephen Mnuchin made a couple weeks ago around uh, AI and whether they were going to uh, take over jobs. And he said it's not an issue that he thinks about. Is it an issue you think about? Uh, it certainly is an issue. We saw what happened to the manufacturing industry back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, we may now be moving into an era, we're just at the start of that, where the same sort of effect from robots and technology, automation, AI may affect retail, may affect transportation jobs. Uh, so uh, you don't question in my mind, just like offshoring, technology is changing the face of the jobs market today. Uh, final question, retail always, uh, you know, always. At least for the past year, it has been uh, one of the toughest places to be, and, and clearly the numbers uh, demonstrate that. Is there a bottom? Uh, well, what's interesting about retail this quarter particularly is we saw 38,000 job cuts there, and uh, you know, a bunch of cuts as companies cut stores, and they seem to always do that you know, after the holiday season, the ones that just barely held on, and we saw more of that this time. But we also just saw a big a job announcement by Home Depot this month of 80,000 jobs for people like customer service and salespeople and freight and receiving uh, types of workers. So there is uh, growth there. Most of the growth seems to be more uh, in the e-commerce area long term. Right. But we're seeing in this hot job market continued uh, kind of flux in that retail sector. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.